Okay, hello, hi, this is Rani Ahmed with you, and in this uh, video, I'm going to show you how to use the package TDBC, uh, which is the DCL uh, database connectivity. TDBC, okay, data TCL database connectivity. Uh, now, in uh, this one, uh, in this video, I mean, I'm going to talk about uh, the MySQL connectivity, connecting TCL to MySQL using the TDBC package. Okay, now uh, you should find uh, the TDBC package available in Active State and the uh, TCAP repository, okay, or the teapot, whatever. So you just type TCAP update in the uh, command line and uh, in the bin folder of the uh, TCL uh, installation from Active State, and uh, which is the Active TCL, and just get it uh, downloaded, okay. Uh, now, uh, don't forget to install your database server MySQL to set it up with proper usernames and passwords and host names. Okay, and uh, don't forget to uh, prepare a table. Okay, full of uh, data. Now I chose to use a table. Okay, which is this one. Okay, inside uh, the database name test. Now, of course, I'm using here PHP uh, MyAdmin, which is a, a, a web interface to uh, MySQL. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, I haven't yet seen anything uh, like PHP MyAdmin in TCL, but it's not a big deal, okay? All I'm caring about is just how to use TCL with MySQL, okay? And this is the structure of uh, my uh, table. Okay, here's the structure, here's the contents. I have like around um, 27 items, I think, yeah. And here's the structure, I have an ID, an auto-increment ID, the name, uh, how many of this item, the stock here, and last access time, it will be automatically set uh, by the as a database server and I have a category you can fill it with, with whatever so this is uh, browsing okay let's just see how things are distributed inside this table okay now uh, we start with the following now I'm using here Linux so I'll just understand that this line applies only on Linux or Mac or any Unix system okay but on Windows you just uh, just double click the uh, script okay and please make sure that tcl sh is on the correct path okay on uh, the default installation of uh, active tcl it will be on this path eight point six or eight point five whatever you have okay and slash bin slash tcl cool now i have the set with the uh, shortcut from that path okay to this path okay with a symbolic link okay so we start with uh, uh, like asking for the library tdbc mysql so this is the driver from tdbc to call the database server mysql okay and th therefore we use the command package require tdbc mysql okay now uh, if i want to uh, create a connection i do the following which is or on type for the following which is a tdbc mysql connection create so make me a connection and then name that connection dbc uh, cmd now database command this will transform okay or will return to a command in tcl or procedure in tcl that you can call anytime or anywhere uh, inside uh, the script uh, there is no section where will you call that uh, name okay Next, I'm saying that this command, dbcmd, or this connection, 
uh, should go to when it connects it has to connect to this database name test using the username root and the host which is 127001 please notice that uh, using the local host here instead of just typing local host instead of uh, this one uh, general doesn't uh, really resolve correctly okay so make sure you type uh, the one that works for you and using local host means that you are your script is located with the same uh, hard drive of the uh, MySQL server okay and of course there's a password you should set okay so this is the password this is the password option good now next uh, I must start with uh, or you know you're supposed to or you I assume that you should start querying the table see what's inside it okay so what uh, you know as a start okay like a hello world uh, program we usually say select star from item now select star from item here is set into a variable here which I use later to uh, uh, prepare it, prepare it as a statement that I'm going to execute okay using a for each that uh, will loop over each row coming from this uh, table named item and mainly not just from the table named item from the result of the query of a uh, table item okay so I'm here printing the whole complete output of each row every time for each loops it prints a row from the result of the query and because I'm just printing the complete contents of the uh, table item so we're printing simply the table Okay, and finally you close the uh, statement or you delete it okay uh, anything uh, that you uh, did here okay will be still saved in the RAM okay in the memory of your system, of your computer until you say a statement close okay so you can call statement uh, a number uh, of times okay now here it can be the printing as lists or it can be as dicts. The default is as dicts. Okay, so I'm going to show you first the dicts, which is without the as. Okay, so print, printing will be like this. Okay, don't forget to type chmod plus x on your uh, Unix system. Okay. Just to make sure that this script will be executable. Of course, on Windows, you just double click. So, test. See, I'm printing here uh, like the field name and then the value of that field name at the current row. Okay, so row 1, row 2, row 3, blah 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 until row 26. Okay. Uh, here 27 is 0 but this is another increment so there's no problem having this uh, number 0 okay anyway so here I'm saying name it has pressure transmitter so this here I have a dictionary of uh, fields ID name stock last access time and category so ID at this row means 1 ID at, for example, this row here means 24, uh, and the name at this row will be this one here, the Dutch boy, blah blah blah. Okay, category at the same row here, okay, will be uh, paints. Cool. So uh, now, through this way, I can get uh, the uh, column that I want whenever I want using the dict commands okay so for example if this is now I'm saying here I'm printing the complete row so if I want to print only just the name uh, or the names okay 
so I can just say put like this names name I mean and I type dict get row which one the name from the whole row cool now and also I can um, say uh, last or say time okay dict get I say not time something simpler okay stock name and uh, get row I mean row uh, stock okay by the way it's very important that you keep the uh, database field names okay and small uh, letters okay so uh, if you just by mistake used any case and the letters uh, it won't find them so please just use a co as a convention always small letters okay whatever the operating system that your database uh, mysql is on okay linux mac windows whatever okay here huh? i'm going at also this arrow okay just to make a point okay so printing this again see now this is my own way of printing the uh, data and through this way I can just make if statements and whatever I want just to make sure whether when the name is something like that do this when the name is something like that do that okay now uh, like you saw um, using dicts um, uh, I'm, uh, when I print the complete row, I get the field names uh, repeated in every uh, row. Okay. Now I don't want to do this. Okay. So therefore, I will be using. So I will be using the as uh, lists. Okay. Just as a reminder, I'm gonna repeat this statement. So I'm going to show you that this is now with the uh, uh, field name and as a key in the dictionary and its value. Cool. Now, next is, uh, as I said, we want to use the as lists. Okay. So I'm going to clear it. Okay. And this time you won't see category here you won't see even the last access time and even the word stock see it's been kicked out okay why because here now I'm dealing with every row as a list not as a dictionary okay that has to be uh, pairs every pair of two list items okay or it's a list of uh, or an even uh, numbered uh, number of items in a list okay the list has to be an, uh, uh, like the list counts in each row if you want to consider it as a dictionary it has to be even okay so this is how we do it uh, as this so that you will have to use therefore the uh, commands uh, lindex okay for example to get uh, I'll index dollar row yeah, for example zero will be the ID one will be the name uh, two will be the stock and so on so on okay <coughs> now uh, of course the index is a TCL uh, command now um, what if I want to use something like a where close where ID is greater than something that I uh, submit to the script. Okay, so if I want to say like dollar ID, okay, and I say for example here set ID as uh, twenty, okay. 
wanna, don't want to make it big okay and I want to uh, keep it as dictionaries okay I want to print the uh, row cool so here okay now uh, the problem with using this form with a dollar sign it can um, get you into uh, the problem of uh, SQL injection so it's preferred that you use the at sign or the uh, colon ID okay colon ID means this variable at sign uh, ID is the same variable here ID okay now see look at this same thing it will execute okay it will replace it uh, the idea behind uh, SQL injection is that, uh, for example, this ID, if I uh, want to say somebody came and substituted as such, like from an input from an entry in TK from GUI, and I said like, and, or let's say, uh, or, okay, uh, ID equals them. Okay, this works. So when you substitute it, it will work. Okay. Okay. Um, so this is something that you didn't want to happen. So uh, SQL injection can fix it uh, for you through the prepare uh, command. Okay. So you don't want to go through uh, the problem of codes and uh, misput, mistyped uh, codes and quotations like this, okay? Anyway. Now, uh, let's imagine that I'm using here a string, okay? And want to look in the names, okay? And I want to use a where clause where a lower case of the field name okay like having something that contains percent name of course that's what you're expecting and yeah let's make it like this just to make it clear and this way okay so you would expect that this should work and this should replace the uh, at name. Cool. Now, uh, this has a problem here. Okay, you will see it now. It won't give you anything containing, for example, a PR. Okay. See, remember, this is the name, something like containing. A valve or whatever let's say VA is just to show you the valve okay so let's clear it this doesn't give you anything so to make it give you anything let's try this with the dollar sign okay let's see what will happen okay now you're getting values cool so there's a problem here okay um, so that's why um, you should in this form okay, use a dollar uh, sign cool so uh, that's it uh, I hope you liked it and uh, insertions just uh, if you want to use the insert uh, it will be the statement like a set a query and let's see I want to use this one or remove these this should be a number so something like uh, whatever and to execute it, we just, of course, like usual, put this. 
and you say dollar statement execute as simple as cool now if I okay now um, let me look into uh, look inside the database okay let me browse it again so you should find like we started with one uh, test I now I should have two test eyes cool so uh, yeah this is repeated because there's no uh, condition on the repetition here no problem so that's all okay this is all about uh, TDBC in short okay in this like 15 uh, minutes uh, I think okay or half an hour whatever it takes so that's all I'm done now I'm done okay so all I want from you is just to click the ads click the uh, likes and type any comment that you want and thanks for watching guys okay see you next time okay